Hi there! I hope you're having a good day today. My name is Catherine and I am an online English teacher. Um, this is my first video that isn't a listening exercise, so let me just explain why I'm making this. I have many students that have interviews or job opportunities that require them to speak English. As it's not their first language, they feel nervous or not confident or don't know how to uh, express themselves in a in a way that's appropriate for an interview. So I thought I would prepare some videos that might help a few people. Please let me know if it is helpful down below. So in this video I'm going to talk about the interview question, what are your main strengths? Many people find this one of the easiest questions to answer as it gives you the opportunity to sell yourself, to describe your best characteristics. Some people find this difficult as they don't like talking about themselves, but I think if you've had a job before, previous colleagues, previous managers will tell you what you do well, what you don't do well. So this is quite a good one to answer. And it, like I said, it gives you the opportunity to really sell yourself. So like I said, this is the opportunity to sell yourself. However, always try and link it back to the workplace and how it will benefit the people around you. So not just your strengths, why they're good for you, but how will the company, how will your colleagues react to this? So I'm going to give you some professional ways to talk about your strengths. So my strength and the one that I often use in interviews is that I'm positive, I'm easy to get along with and I'm very hard working. If I just said this sentence alone, I would not be doing myself any justice. I don't stand out from the other candidates. It sounds kind of scripted or like I googled something to say beforehand. It obviously is positive, but like I said, it doesn't make you stand out from everyone else that's going to an interview that day. So in, in an interview, this is how I would say it. I feel that I'm a positive person. I often get great feedback from my colleagues and managers that I'm easy to work with. I have a positive attitude and lift morale in the team. I motivate and inspire others. Whenever I am faced with a problem, I try to find a solution before I start to panic. Everything has an answer and everything can be resolved in one way or another. This positive attitude shines through in my daily working and has a positive impact on the people I work with. As well as this, I am hardworking and motivated. No matter what the task is at hand, I want to do it to the best of my abilities. I like to achieve excellent standards with my work and constantly try to improve and grow as an, empl as an employee. So as you can see, I said the same sentence, but I added some examples. I talked about how this affects the work environment, how this affects my colleagues. Always try and link it back to how it affects the people you work with, how the company will benefit from your strengths. Always remember when you're in an interview, they're not looking for the perfect person. They're looking for the perfect person for their company. So they're not looking for generic answers, they're looking for answers that suit what they want. And if it doesn't suit what they want and it doesn't work out, then they're probably not the right company for you. This is your chance to interview them as much as their chance to interview you. So be as honest and open as possible. And if it's not the right suit, maybe the next interview will be the right fit for you. If you give generic answers off the internet, then it's probably not going to work out in the long term. If you give genuine, honest answers, they get a feel for you and you get a feel for them. As well as some of the more professional answers you give, like I just demonstrated, feel free to also just use adjectives to describe yourself. Even if you just list them, you don't have to go into detail, just list them. For example, I am creative, kind, caring, trustworthy, and patient. I am also hardworking, which is shown, blah, 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 etc, etc. As long as they are genuinely true, just sprinkle them in where you can, as this really is the opportunity to sell yourself, and you owe it to yourself to be as open and confident as possible. 
if you are friendly, say you are friendly. If you speak eight languages, say you speak eight languages. But you don't necessarily have to go into these strengths in detail. Try and pick one or two really good strengths that you're going to talk about in detail and give examples with, and then add these other ones as bonus points. So I'm going to list down below um, some strengths and adjectives that you can use, but I'll just go through a couple now to demonstrate. So if you are a positive, happy person, these are some things you can say instead. So my energy boosts morale and encourages a great atmosphere within the team. I enjoy coming to work every day and this rubs off on my co-workers and colleagues. The customers feel comfortable when talking to me and leave feeling like they have had a positive experience. Likewise, if you are a hard worker, you can say I am motivated and driven. I fulfill every role or task to the best of my ability. You can say I enjoy what I do and this is shown through my hard work and motivation. You can say I am passionate about my work, therefore my work my hard work is shown through everything I do. If you are a well-organised person, you can say, I am great at time management, or I am great at managing my time. I have excellent time management skills, and this is shown in the way I complete tasks on time. I am capable of taking on many projects at once, as I am organised and can manage my time well. I can meet and adhere to strict deadlines and make sure all work is completed on time. If you are a perfectionist, you can say, I have a very good eye for detail. I have excellent attention to detail and this shows in the standard of my work. I like to make sure everything is done to the best of my abilities, securing the same level of work every time I complete a project. If you are versatile, you can say, I flourish in new environments. I'm easy to work with. I'm a people person. If you are experienced in the field you are applying for, you can say, I have a lot of experience and would love the opportunity to demonstrate this. You can say the experience and knowledge I have gained over my years working in this job role or in my years in my previous job are second to none and I would love to share this with your team and my potential new colleagues. So as I said, pick a strength, think about your strengths. What really is your main strength? What have you had feedback on before? What has someone said to you, yes, you do this really well? And think of other ways you can uh, say it, other ways you can portray this and how this relates to the work environment. And at the end of this video, in the description box down below, I'm going to list a um, set of adjectives that you can use in a professional way, in a professional manager. And of course, don't use all of them because it doesn't seem genuine, but choose the ones that do relate to you and you can use them in your interview. I hope this video ha was helpful. Uh, let me know down below if it was helpful. Maybe you have a strength that you need help explaining. So write it down below and I can help you come up with a better way to say it. Like I said, I'm an online English teacher, so if you did need help, contact me and I can help you. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your day and I wish you good luck with everything you're trying to achieve this week.